I only love my math and my science. I'm sorry. Hey guys, sorry about the fluffy face. I, my allergies are just a mess this morning. <sighs> I, I was supposed to be at work right now. Like, I don't have to be there to meet with my team until 8.30, but it's 8.07. I really wanted to get there earlier so I can go in my room before we get the day started. But of course, life doesn't work like that, especially for me. I was getting ready this morning and then uh, I just looked at my phone and it was just not buffering because it was black but it was just frozen on the off screen and so I was able to find a video on YouTube thankfully um, because with the new phone the hard reset with holding the volume and the home button doesn't work so I'm like leaving later and I'm stopping by McDonald's because I want an egg McMuffin and then I'll get to work like just in time for our meeting. So um, I did bring a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch today because we do have an hour for lunch and I'm just gonna spend that time working in my room because time is winding down y'all. Oh. Today I decided to wear my super woman shirt that I wore with some of my friends when we were in a talent show last year actually, yes, us grown mommies. We sang back up for another one of our friends, but this is my super woman shirt that one of our friends made. Hi! Hey, I just saw like, she's not my partner teacher anymore, but I feel like I have talked about her. Oh, like we just have this amazing bond so as I was just vlogging she saw me and she started yelling at me through the window so yay she'll be there today I wasn't really sure if she was gonna be there and I don't think she knew I was gonna be there either because this isn't like a normal day of work but anyways like I was saying I'm wearing my super woman shirt and I'm wearing these Lulu not Lulu lemons wow what are these things called LuLaRoe LuLaRoe tights or leggings or whatever they're very comfortable and um this is the pattern some people don't really like the patterns because they're wacky but i like them they are kind of hard to like <laughs> match with something and not just look tacky so it does have like yellowish pinkish undertone so that's why i feel like this shirt would match it if it doesn't oh well i'm comfortable i have my good old pb and j hopefully you can hear me they're still working and drilling right outside of my room so this morning i've been in a training um but we've been talking about basically growth mindset and so they're really stressing this year for us to build on what students are able to do and show them that they can continue to grow and not having that fixed mindset so it's very um nice it's second grade through fifth grade math and science but we've been kind of focusing more on math but showing how we can incorporate um, the math into our science classrooms as well. So it's been nice to get back with everybody and just, you know, share our ideas. That's kind of what it's been like a, a sharing session. So uh, it's uh, just about 1130. We have lunch until 1230. So I probably spent about 15 minutes eating. I'm not even really hungry. I ate my egg McMuffin this morning. So I'm actually not too hungry at the moment, but I'm just gonna snack a little bit and then I'm gonna get to work. My goals for today are to finish up my little piece, which I wasn't even like, let me tell y'all why this Drake situation came into place. So the whole God's plan title, I really don't really like it too much cause you know, I feel a certain way whenever people decide to use God or his name or anything like that in songs it just kind of rubs me the wrong way so when i heard of god's plan i was kind of like eh. but my students last year constantly would say i only love my bed and my mom i'm sorry and i'm like Ugh. so what i thought that i would just take something that they say all the time and then run with it that way as my students are looking around the room um 
they see something and the song is going to get stuck in their head and so they will constantly think i only love my math and my science i'm sorry so even when they're at home i know somebody's going to talk about this board to their parents and um yeah so what i really want to do today i'm kind of trying to figure out if i want to wait until mj comes back to do my base 10 blocks and let him do that i'm thinking i might do that um right now i have these with the what my um my camera is sitting on these lac tables that i got from ikea i think i'm gonna put that up i kind of think i want to set up my room um i i made the request yesterday for a specific table my cafeteria table to be put in here so hopefully they'll bring that in here and so i can see um just about how much room i have but i have so much room in this classroom i'm just really excited about just like everything it's gonna be an amazing year take back what I said yesterday because yesterday I thought that someone set off the alarm to tell me to leave but now it is 12 10 and the alarm is going off so I think that they're out there doing like electrical stuff and it's just messing it up they're not worried they're still doing their work and stuff so I'm just gonna keep on doing my work because I have stuff to do but I'm really excited because look what's done it's been so cute I only love my math and my science I'm sorry I think it's cute and hopefully my students will think it's cute too. And do you see how I strategically put I love math and science in green? Yeah. Visually, when students look at it, they'll be able to say that Drake says I love math and science and all the other stuff really doesn't matter. So most of my numbers here have fallen off. I'm not sure what happened when I cut my circles out. No, like it's never just falling apart like this, but like all of my circles are falling off well not all of them but like yeah they're just like everywhere so I think I'm gonna like I don't know what I'm gonna do I think I might just take them all off put this circle because I know that it fits on there I'm gonna just put this circle on the wall where I want it to be and then I'm going to put the numbers on there after I get my clock up there My clock might have shifted while I was up there. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay. Oh. I think we're good. One hour just went away very quickly, so I am headed back to the rest of my um my planning day or whatever this thing is and then hopefully we'll get some time in our rooms toward the end so hopefully i get about another hour in here and i didn't even eat look at this oh i didn't even eat y'all look i took like three bites and none of my chips and my girl scout cookies were not touched so now i'm going to go to the restroom Get to work and hopefully i'll be able to talk to y'all soon we got some planning done and yeah so what i am going to do at this moment is i'm going to try my very best to set up that right there well right there that is my daily schedule also known as the daily grind so i don't know if i'm going to be able to get the title on here because 10 minutes is not that much time, but let's see if I can at least get the little cards inside of those little slots. Shouldn't take me that long. Hey 
As y'all can see, there's quite a bit of space left. So that took all of like 30 seconds, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put the letters on here because if I don't, then I'm probably gonna take the whole thing off. I'm missing a, a dot. I guess it's time to go, y'all. I guess it's time to go. The stapler ran out of staples. And I don't know where the dot for the O is. I think I lost it. So I have to find it. <sighs> so our daily rid is what we're, what we have up there right now. I don't really think there is a point to do an overview at the moment because I didn't do anything today. So I will talk to y'all on day four. Bye. Joy.